with these words from the Declaration of Independence, we defined ourselves as a nation. These few words embody the American dream. Without that dream, we would not be Americans. In 1787, after a bitter and bloody war against British rule, the 13 American states, which had united to win independence, sent representatives to a constitutional convention, charged with creating a document that would implement the principles of democracy for which they had fought so long and risked so much. Gentlemen, many issues have been resolved here and some of this have solved. Yet can we not agree that these constitutional liberties must extend to those Americans purchased and raised by slaves? I assure you, Mr. Chairman, if this convention fails to insert some security to the southern states against an emancipation of slaves, we can never receive the plan. My good countrymen, the warmest friends this Constitution has do not contend that it is free from imperfections. But there is a constitutional door open for change. I think the people can decide on the alterations and amendments which time may prove necessary. The General Washington, sir. Mr. Franklin. Fellow delegates, I cannot help expressing a wish that every member of this convention who may still have objections to it would, with me, doubt a little of his own infallibility and put his name to this instrument. And so it was that we, the people, in an age ruled by monarchs and tyrants, established a government bound by the wishes and desires of the governed. That first generation of citizens soon chose George Washington as America's first president. We were going to be a land of opportunity in which the spirit of freedom would grow and expand with the American frontier. Yet, planted in our path, every step of the way were the seeds of unresolved conflict. I believe this government 
cannot endure permanently half slave and half free. A house divided against itself cannot stand. What do you think? Young drink of water? Yes, my friend, that's what I think. If you have listened to suggestions to believe that all men are not created equal, let me entreat you to come back. If the Declaration of Independence is not the truth, let us get the statute book in which we find it and tear it out. Who is so bold to do it? No one! If it is not true, let us tear it out!
George Washington, John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, James Madison, James Monroe, John Quincy Adams, Andrew Jackson, Martin Van Buren, William Henry Harrison, John Tyler, James K. Polk, Zachary Taylor, Millard Fillmore, Franklin Pierce, James Buchanan, Abraham Lincoln, Andrew Johnson, Ulysses S. Grant, Rutherford B. Hayes, James A. Garfield, Chester A. Arthur, Grover Cleveland, Benjamin Harrison, William McKinley, Theodore Roosevelt, William Howard Taft, Woodrow Wilson, Warren G. Harding, Calvin Coolidge, Herbert Hoover, Franklin D. Roosevelt, Harry S. Truman, Dwight D. Eisenhower, John F. Kennedy, Lyndon B. Johnson, Richard M. Nixon, Gerald R. Ford, Jimmy Carter, Ronald Reagan, George Bush, and the current President of the United States, Bill Clinton. My fellow citizens, we are the heirs of the great American Revolution. As this millennium draws to a close and the 21st century approaches, let us pause to honor the very idea of America. America mirrors the world's diversity, yet it remains united in its struggle to uphold fundamental freedoms. We believe our nation's happiness still evolves from liberty, from opportunity, and from the vision of equality set forth by our country's Declaration of Independence. And today, our nation stands as a symbol of freedom and the inspiration of people all around the world. There is nothing wrong with America that cannot be cured by what is right with America. And there is nothing wrong with the world that cannot be cured by the ideals that America represents. Those principles have no borders. And we look forward to a day when those principles extended beyond our borders will have circled the globe. The quest for democracy must continue until all the people of the world enjoy the freedom we must always fight to preserve. The spirit of America is as bright and hopeful today as it was in July of 1776. And we are ready to carry our great national experiment forward into the next millennium. If the experience of these extraordinary men adds up to any one thing, it is this. To be true to the American dream, one must have the wisdom to remember and the courage to change. In honoring these men, protectors of our heritage, servants of our dream, guides to the future we face together, we honor the enduring meaning of America. We, we the people, hear in their voices the voice of our own hearts. President Abraham Lincoln. My fellow countrymen, wow. I have often inquired wow. myself, wow. 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 
idea it was that kept Whoa. this confederacy Whoa. strong together. It was that old...